Hello, this is Hans Hobbies, and um, I'm here with a little update video, just because I haven't posted anything in a long time, and I didn't want you guys to, I didn't want you guys to think that my channel is dead already, or something. So I'm just posting a little update video. I just, I've been just kind of busy with work, and also it's winter now here in Michigan, so that kind of limits on what kind of projects I can do. Uh, especially stuff that, it, that, that needs painting uh, which is why my um, Super Hornet upgrade video like that project has kind of stalled because the major thing I have to do with that is paint paint it and I can't really paint right now uh, with how, how cold it is so I've been just kind of working on some other stuff that I can do inside and also just because I've been busy I haven't had time to really piece together and edit a lot of the videos together um so I'll try to do this do this all in one shot so I don't have to do any editing I can just post it up um the major thing you see right now is this guy right here uh it's Wild Willy 2 and this is technically not a Wild Willy 2 it's actually a my comical hornet that I'm slowly converting it into a Wild Willy like 2.5, I guess. Just because the uh, WR02CB chassis that the comical buggies are ma uh, based on are slightly different than the regular WR02. Um, I'll get into more detail on when I do like a more detailed overview of this guy. But um, basically, this is a... Uh, expert built like ready to run body that I bought separately on eBay So this is not painted green. It's just molded in green. That's why it's glossy um, When it gets warmer, I'll probably shoot a couple coats of matte clear on it just to give it that flat military look And also to protect these um decals a little more um, The major things you can just kind of notice up right up right, right off the bat is um the spare tire is mounted funny and it's because with how low I wanted the, my body uh, fit and I wanted to keep these comical buggy exhaust tips like, it wouldn't really fit it wouldn't really clear here even though I think it looks better here in the original position um, I have to run it without it or kind of just stick it up here which I think looks fine too so yeah that's that uh, I'll get into more and I'll get more into this on on its own video. Um, these tires are not the Wild Willy Two tires. The Wild Willy Two should come with the same tires as the Lunchbox, but I kind of like the smaller look of these tires. Uh, kind of keeps the center of gravity lower uh, again. And these tires are just off of a ECX Barrage Doomsday, so I don't think you can get these tires anymore. But I had them in hand, so and it looks pretty good. On this chassis so yeah uh, look forward to videos of this I am I can't I can't wait to run it I haven't run it yet with this body on it so I'll try to get some footage of that and also I got I recently got like this off-brand like GoPro like action cam that I can probably like stick up here or something do some point-of-view videos get more interesting shots for you guys so, that's something you have to look forward to, I guess. Uh, another quick thing that I picked up is uh, a new FJ body for my MST CMX. This is, you can see the holes drilled here. Because this body was originally on my CC01. Uh, but I transferred it over to this chassis because I bought this chassis without a body. Um, but I painted this body like a long time ago when I was still in high school. And uh, the paint job is not as great as I would want. And the body's kind of worn out. And I thought it could use a new new shiny body. So I had to pick this one up on eBay. Uh, I also got it because um, it was <clears throat> significantly cheaper than all the other ones. It was even cheaper than MS. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry about that. Cheaper than MSRP, forty six hundred yen means around like forty six to fifty dollars, and I picked this one up for 
forty dollars flat, which I thought was a pretty good deal, especially since I wanted one anyway. And uh, yeah, and then I picked up this bearing kit um, for a GF01 because I picked one of those up too. And this oil shock set is for my MF01X drift car. Uh, so yeah, I gotta get those. I'll get that done soon too. And just a couple more things I have to update on. Uh, I recently picked up a few few things online. Um, I picked up this Tamiya Lunchbox Junior. I picked up a couple couple of these. A lot of these I've seen for sale nowadays for like um like eighty to a hundred dollars each. But I found a seller in Hong Kong that would, that's selling them for the regular street a regular like store price of like twenty dollars. So I picked up two of these, um, just to have. Uh, so I'll do a quick video on these two when they come in. Um, I'm expecting a lunchbox mini SWO one for Christmas. So I picked up these Yeah Yeah Racing carbon fiber upper arm connectors with the four wheel steering. Um. So, I hope I actually get that. Otherwise, it'd be awkward just to have the parts and not the, the actual thing. Uh, let's see. I also picked up this Rock Soccer CR01. I've always wanted a CR01, but they're always kind of out of my price range. They're kind of expensive. Um, <clears throat> but this one was a super reasonable price, so uh, I had to pick this up. I've been wanting one anyway, and it's finally something I could afford in my price range, so I picked it right up. Uh, it's from RC Mart. You can see at the time of this recording, there's only one left, so if you want one of these, you better hurry up. I thought the Rock Soccer looked the best because the other ones are using CC01 body, so they're kind of like weird because the wheelbase is really long. This one's using the uh, Stadium Blitzer body, which I think looks way cooler and fits this wheelbase a lot better and gives it like a custom like rock racer look. So I'm super, super excited for this to come in. Uh, but it's coming in for Hong Kong, so being RC Mart, so I'm going to have to wait for that. And then... Uh, another thing I picked up was, let's see, I picked up this guy right here, GF01 Land Cruiser. I saw a couple of videos of these. Um, they're basically like my WRO2s, but four wheel drive, so you can do more tricks with them. It's a lot more fun to drive. And with it going to be snowing real soon, um, this is something I can use more outside rather than the two-wheel drive WRO2s. I also really like FJs, whether it's the Land Cruisers or the FJ Cruisers. So really, really excited for this guy too. So yeah, that's my uh, quick little update. My phone's about to die, so I got to wrap it up. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and I promise I'll get those videos edited up, posted up real soon. Um, thanks for watching.